right, coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight showdown. Well, I'm excited for this one. This is a kickboxer of the highest order. He has so many different kicks and punches in his arsenal and figures to try to keep this on the feet here tonight. The beautiful thing that he does is he throws that front push kick to create distance when a guy starts to get too close and wants to wrestle with him. He throws it, and the moment you're back at his range, he starts to blast high kicks. He doesn't always intend on landing him, but he beats up your arms with high kick after high kick after high kick. And as you get desperate, you start to run into knees, and he does not need much space to land a knockout punch. This guy is one of the best strikers we've ever seen in the UFC. And if you don't find the striking range early against this guy, you could be in real trouble. All right, so here he is, the undisputed UFC lightweight champion, DC, your teammate, Khabib Nurmagomedov, undefeated 27-0. And history is certainly going to look back fondly upon what this guy has accomplished and puts that undefeated record online yet again here tonight. Usually at this point in your career, guys have made a mistake. There's been a hiccup. For Habib, there has been no hiccup, no missteps on his way to becoming one of the longest undefeated streaks that we've seen in mixed martial arts history. And it's because the skill is so high in every facet of mixed martial arts. He has fantastic striking. He has unbelievable wrestling, coupled with his sambo and the ground control and the ground and pound of Habib Nurmagomedov is second to none, one of the most damaging, dominant fighters the UFC has ever seen. He is a man of principle, and no one knows better than you. There may be guys who work as hard in the game, but no one works harder than him. Nobody works harder. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Four years apart, some differences in height and reach. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. It's easy to fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet one is tall, weighing in at 265 pounds, fighting out of Independence, Ohio, Chico. And now we're producing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a grappler, holding a professional record of 29 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds, fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, Habib the Eagle. Okay, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. They touch him up and we are underway. You ready? So here we go, this highly anticipated fight is now underway. Looks like a classic matchup of striker versus grappler. Am I simplifying things too much? In this instance, you aren't, because this is what got these two men to the show. Right. One guy is known for his diverse attack on the feet. The other guy is known for his ability to drag the fight to the mat and put his opponents in danger from the very start of the grappling exchanges. Well, he told you off the top he had the reach advantage, and you saw it right there with that punch. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand, just out of range. Well placed knee to the body. Power 
well. He continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter a little bit. Lesson one in boxing class, hands up, chin down. Nurmago Medov gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Immediately gets the underhook. Now he's got the Muay Thai clock. The right hand just misses. Well, you start to really worry about the wrestling, and there's that left hand from Cubby. Underrated. I mean, it's a very underrated part of his game, his ability to stand his strike with anybody in the UFC. Oh, he scored with that uppercut. Takedown defense holds up. That knee might have landed there. A little struggle here now for position in the clinch, and we see a lot of these situations in mixed martial arts where both fighters sort of end up getting comfortable here when there isn't a whole lot going on. And the moment somebody gets comfortable, the moment that somebody decides to relax, the moment you'll see a takedown or somebody really speed out ahead of their opponent, you got to be aware when you're chest to chest in this 50-50 position. And he lands a punch there. Pretty good connection by him. Great connection. He's in a great flow right now. Well, a lot of people think he might have the best jab in this division, certainly using it effectively here. I mean, one of the best jabs in the world across all combat sports. The way that it just comes out, it's beautiful. The backside hand is always at the chin. The elbow's tucked to the ribs. The jab goes out. The jab comes right back to the face. It's picture-perfect technique, almost like a Taibo class or something like that. Oh, nice uppercut there. Good series of punches by him there. He has certainly had no trouble finding the range to him. He is finding the target with everything he throws. He's mixing it up beautifully. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back in range. Uppercut lands. Whiffs on the right hand. I mean, over and over, he is taking these strikes to the head. Oh, body kick attempt here. It's no good. Another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Sound defensively blocks the shot. And he landed the right hand there. Superman punch now. Oh, really exploiting his reach advantage as he landed the jab there, DC. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Throws the right hand there. Over and over, he's landed these big body kicks. Great punch. Well, he has really come out aggressively to start this fight. He's staying technical, but we have certainly seen an uptick in the volume and the output compared to his previous fight. Good start for him here tonight. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. Wow. Well, he continues to find the openings tonight. Beautiful connection with the punch there. Accuracy at its best. And just misses with that big right hand. Oh, man, it ain't Dikembe Mutombo, but he is blocking all these shots coming man, this way. get that out of here. He sees it coming. You're going to have to mix it up. Shake that finger. Shake that finger. Tags him with the uppercut. Nice job to stick with it there to complete the takedown. All right, DC, let's look at some of the highlights from the last round. Lots for the replay guys to choose from. Yeah, man, these guys stood on a quarter in the middle of the octagon. Take one to give one. Over and over, each guy landed, and they both landed very well over the course of that first round. All right, DC, second round is getting Ready? underway. Round one, Ready? not the round of the year necessarily, but some good in there. And it's not always going to be. You have two very talented fighters. Sometimes it's very even. That's what we saw in the round number one. Punch over the top. All right, so a nice job there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave 
where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Oh, and he caught the kick. Connects with a right. Oh, pinpoint knee to the body. If you're trying to knock me out, you one knee to the body, I'm done. Every time his opponent tries to get close, he just drives that knee to the body. Great timing. And he connects there, DC. Great job landing that punch. Nurmago Medov gets hit by that leg kick. You may want to start checking some of these. Another leg kick lands. All right, so a good job defensively by him here as he raises the guard and prevents any damage. Shades of James Tony. Always seeing things coming at him. He's such a great defensive fighter. Great upper body movement defensively. Slips another strike there. And offensively, he hasn't been a world beater, but defensively, he's been strong. And that has caused frustration for the opponent. Not being able to hit a guy that you want to really put away. But that's a testament to the head movement and the activity and the awareness of this fighter defensively. Oh, beautifully placed with the hook there by Nermago Medov. Nice. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, hey. if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand. Jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. That is your soda. I mean, come on, man. Let this guy have the whole thing. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. Oh, what a punch. Oh, he's broke. He's hurt bad. Oh, he might be out. Strike attempt there is blocked. Got the single collar tie. Shooto throw. Let's see if he can capitalize and lock up a sub. You gotta try to find whether or not you're gonna land Brown and Pound here or if you're gonna go to submission. Under two minutes to go. Man, the submission attempts keep on coming. Going for a choke now. I need you to get out of there now. Oh, we're getting a finish here. Submission, and he bided his time there. He stayed patient, waited for an opening, and then when it was there, he certainly capitalized to get the tap here tonight. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. I mean, you know this guy has such a great submission game that you cannot lay in his guard. He's so skilled, he's so tricky, and he's so good at weaving a web that gets you lost in it that he made him pay for it tonight and got the submission victory. So there he is, your winner by submission. That is a finish they will likely be talking about for some time. Big win, major statement made to the rest of this division. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 28 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by tap out, Habib the Eagle Nevada All right, so there he is, all smiles and rightfully so after he gets the job done by submission tonight. You told me off the air before the fight that he was gonna submit him and that's exactly what happened. Right? I mean, you know this guy has such a great submission game that you cannot lay in his guard. And his opponent is known to lay in the guard. He made him pay for it tonight and got the submission victory.